Okay, so let's take a look at this um, run and debug toolbar button, um, which we've seen before when we've used the debugger, but I wanted to highlight this aspect up here at the top, which is a pop-up menu where we can choose what we want to run or debug. Um, we've got two entries here, node server and node client. Um, I created these for us in our launch.json file to help us debug both server side code and client side code. Um, so I want to walk through like the preferred way to launch everything to make it easy to debug. And so to start, select node server and then press the little play button here to start debugging. And you'll see a message about the debugger has attached. Here's some messages from Nodemon, starting node server.js, server is listening on this port. All great. We've done that part before. Um, the new part I want to show you, and, and this was all driven by the question earlier of like, um, wait, how do we debug client code? And where did the console messages go? And, and those questions that I didn't have answers to last week, um, I now have answers for. So. Here is how we can launch our client. We can actually launch Chrome. So if we click here and choose Node Client now, we can hit the play button to start our Node Client. And this is going to launch Chrome. And so you need to be signed in not to your school account, remember, if you want to have access to the developer tools. Um, but it's launched Chrome here. And it's gone to the page automatically, which is kind of cool. Um, the reason why we want to launch Chrome in this way is because now we can debug both server side code and client side code in VS Code. Um, and let me show you what I mean by that. So if I go to create entry.js, this is client side JavaScript code. I could set a breakpoint here on line 15, which is, which I'd already done maybe. Let's see if that works or not. Do I need to change that? Thank you. We'll see if that works or not. I'm a little skeptical. Hmm. Um, let's switch back to Chrome, create entry, just fill in something. Oh, it did work. Okay. All right. Let me go back and do that more slowly now. Um, so here's the home page for Habits of Mind Journal. If I, I've set a breakpoint here on line 15 and create entry.js because I want to actually like debug client side JavaScript code. So I've got that little dot. I now hit the create entry button, which goes to the page, but that script hasn't run yet. That script doesn't run till I click the submit button. So I can choose today's date. Today we focused on thinking interdependent dependently, that's a long word. Um, and I'm gonna hit submit. And it takes me back to VS Code where now I'm in my familiar VS Code debugger and I can see all my local variables here and stuff, which is super cool. And I'm still in the console. Um, and I don't think I've shared this before, but when you're in the JavaScript console, you can actually like type JavaScript commands. So I can type date and it prints out the value of that variable. I can also just look here, but I can actually like call functions. I can change values. I can do whatever I want in the JavaScript console. So this can be really handy for more advanced debugging stuff as well. Um, we did log this data or the, this output. So let's see where that shows up in Chrome. So switching to Chrome here, I can go to my developer tools and go to the console. And here is what was logged. Um, but what I want to show you um, is, is, what, is how to work around the issue um, that we had last week where every time we went to a new page, we lost the log. Um, because by default, it clears it whenever you go to a new page. And so what you need to check and what I've checked for myself is this option right here. So if you click on this little gear icon here in your console window and then click on preserve log, the log is gonna stick around as we go from page to page, okay? So that's how we solved the issue from, from last week. 
So now if I go back to VS Code and hit continue and go back to Chrome, I'm back at the main page, but the old console log message is still here. Okay. So this is how we preserve the console log across different pages that we, we navigate to. We just have to check that little box. So again, just to review, because this we'll be doing this a ton, in our run and debug menu, I recommend we should start the server first. So we choose the server from the pop-up. We hit the play button to start debugging that. We then switch the client. We press the play button to start doing that. Then we don't really need to like stop or start those things again because as we change our um, console or as we change our server side code, um, NodeMon will reload the app for us, which is great. So I'm going to turn off this breakpoint for now because I don't want to keep hitting it. Um, and we're all set up to debug efficiently.